chapter 5, lesson 1, is understanding and measuring angles. So we're now moving away from computations and we're now going into geometry. Okay, so angles uh, is usually symbolized as that sign. Okay, now the angle has a vertex. So the vertex is where the two lines that form the angle will intersect. Now each angle could be named differently. Okay, so one angle could have two names or three names depending on how it's drawn out. Okay, now the thing that we have to remember is if an angle is named with three letters, the middle letter is the vertex. Okay, so again, this is the vertex where the two lines intersect. Okay, now when uh, we are measuring the angles, we need to make sure when we use that protractor, we need to make sure that it's the center is at the vertex. Okay, and there's two types of uh, reading angles, angle reading. So depending on the protractor that you have, if you start on the right side, in this case, if you start on the right side, it's reading from the top. Okay, but if you start from the left side, it's reading from the bottom. So how do you know which direction to use or to read? It depends on where the zero is. So if you're starting from the right, you start reading where the zero is. So if the zero is on the top numbers, then that means that's the right side that you, you'll start with. Okay, so again, to demonstrate all of these, we will be doing some exercises. The first exercise comes from page 87. Okay, on page 87, it says, name each angle in different ways. Okay, so the drawing of the angle is such. So that means this angle can be named as Z, Y, X. Z, Y, X. It can also be named as angle P. But it can also be named as angle X, Y, Z. X, Y, Z. Okay, another problem that shows reading the angles or naming the angles, sorry, would be this figure. Okay, we will be doing letter B and letter D. So in letter B, it says name angle X differently. So one way of naming that would be angle B, A, D. Okay, but it can also be angle D, A, B. So clearly, there are different ways of naming angles. So that's why in the first problem, we named it three different ways. So similarly, in number two, it should be named differently as well. Okay, so in letter D, the question says angle B, D, C. Okay, so B, D, C is technically the same as angle Z. Yeah, and it can also be called as angle C, D, B. Okay, so again, when we're naming the angles, can be named differently. So it could be named with three letters or just one letter. The three letters are usually the points of the figure. The one letter is usually markings within the angle. In a bit, we will be doing measurement of angles. And it can also be called as angle C, D, B. So angle C, D, B. So again, each angle could be named differently. Usually when it's named with three letters, those are the endpoints of the angles. 
Okay, but if it's uh, named as a single letter, then that means that's usually the angle within. They name it inside the angle. So shortly, we will be doing measuring angles. The second example that we will be going through will now be measuring the angles. And these are on page 90. Okay, so um, the examples that we have, they have a drawing of the protractor and the angle. So in letter A, it's angle B, Q, R. Okay, and the drawing is such. Okay, so here if you look at this is B, this is Q, and this is R. So we're reading from the left hand side, and if you look at the protractor that's given, it's uh, the number, the zero is on the top. Therefore, we're reading from the top, and it goes from zero to 70. So which means this will be 70 degrees. Okay, however, in letter B, which is angle X, Y, Z. Okay, this time we're reading from the right. Okay, and it's like that. Okay, so um, this time since we're reading from the right and the zero is on the bottom, we read the bottom numbers. So if you go through the bottom numbers, you'll reach that it's in between 100 and 110. So that means this must be 105 degrees. So every protractor is different. Depending on the protractor that you have, you can be either reading from the top or on the bottom if you're starting from the right-hand side. But you can also be uh, reading from the top or bottom if you're reading from the left-hand side. So please be careful and look at your protractor carefully. And that concludes lesson one of chapter five. See you in the next lesson.